I am going to talk about one, another cache control system. Here's a scenario for you guys. This isn't in, in your book, so I'm going to run over this. All right, there's a guy, Raymond Gutierrez. He owns his own employment agency. He started this business about a year ago. It starts picking up a lot of steam, starts making a lot of business. Uh, his, his business is really growing. So he hires on Chanel, keep him, help keep him organized, start doing possibly some of the accounting and the administration work. What would be possibly some of your proposals or suggestions? What, if you were spending a lot of time keeping track of these little small transactions here and there, what do you think you could possibly do? Every time you'd have to go upstairs, get Raymond, sign a check, give it to him. What was that? Something, yes, that is the correct term. Something petty cash. Now this is gonna allow you to make these small transactions. Usually people keep a little bag of petty cash right there in the drawer. And they have to make maybe a, a write a tape. So instead of Chanel having to go up, find a check, get Raymond to sign it, go out, yeah, she has just a little bank little bank bag, maybe with 100 bucks in it. She'll go out, let's take five bucks out of it real quick. Uh, what is a, a possible solution for Raymond spending a lot of time doing all this admin work, writing and signing checks? What would make it easier if Chanel's the administration accounting assistant? What is it? Well. Well, if Raymond's the one signing all the, writing and signing all the checks, but Chanel's doing all the administration work. There you go. Maybe Chanel should be able to write and sign checks. She's the one that's up in the office, handling all the paperwork, making sure all the accounting practices are correct. Maybe it'd save a lot of time if she was able to write and sign the checks and do some of the bank reconciliation. So we've got establish a petty cash fund, and we've got possibly she can take over writing and signing checks. That's probably a pretty good proposal. However, is that a good idea or a bad idea to establish some quick cash there for anyone to use or giving Chanel the, uh, the control to write and sign checks? We think good idea, bad idea? Why, what, what's the possible things that could come up? Someone could steal, like give me an example. Could steal money which way though? Well, With like a petty cash? Like or? Hungry, so they just take money out of the petty cash and go buy a lunch. All right. What about the writing and signing checks? They could write and sign the checks for themselves. There you go. Early bonus. <laughs> <laughs> so, is this, so is establishing a petty cash fund and giving Chanel uh, the authority to endorse checks, is that a good idea or a bad idea? You have to trust. Well, I mean, you should like let her do that, but you should like watch based on what she does. Very good. Yeah. I mean, you could he could let her do the accounting practices, and if he has time, he could go back and do his own bank reconciliation, keep up with it. So it's all. I mean, it's it's about trust. By using a case study example. Christopher incorporates strategies for students to demonstrate critical thinking and problem-solving skills. The questions he asks call for application, analysis, synthesis, and evaluation.